What's good everyone? Do you want to be able to make impressive wish edits? Today I'm going to show you a beginner's guide into how to make one. Let's get started. First step right now is going to be cutting the clips. So you can go frame by frame, you can use your arrow keys, like this, and then we're going to go straight to this beat right here, and to make the cut, all you need to do, press this, and then tap on the line. Alright, now I'm going to catch you guys back when I've done all of the cutting. What you want to do to make text, go to titles, grab a custom text plus block here. Once you have this in, we're going to start off with our first, first point, which will be strength. So, just make your font anything that uh, you think looks good and stand out. Add a soft glow, so you can press space and plus to get into this menu, and then just search up soft glow. Now, we're going to connect it up, so this is like a notice, node system, alright, just to keep it real basic, and you see this, you connect this up onto the yellow part of this and that'll keep it all running. What we're gonna do is turn this down to about that. Now the next step is what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna go to shading, and we're gonna go to red outline, and then we're gonna turn it black, and we're gonna make it that thick. So we're gonna add drop shadow to it. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna add like depth, and it's gonna look good. If you find that it's not, you know, too dark for you, you can always just increase the gain. Now what we're gonna do is instead of being strength, we're gonna change, change it to who wins strength. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna change the font, something that looks a little bit more interesting than the first one. All right. So as we can see, you can just stick with this, but it's a bit plain. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do shift space, and we're gonna search up fast noise. We're gonna add this. Now connect it up, like this, and we're just going to set the detail to the max, see right to the max, so the alpha all the way over there, and now we're going to make a, we're going to choose two colors, and it's going to create a little pattern for us. Yeah, that looks good. And as you can see, it's animated now. Now one little extra touch you can add, is you're going to add a plus one to the point, so we use this text we use here by alt and dragging it up here and now we're gonna say plus one and put it on top of the text like this I might make it smaller boom now we've done the whole thing it looks like this now that looks good for now but we don't have any clips underneath to actually make it work so we're gonna start off with finding some clips. If you don't have clips, just look for, search up 4K Twixters and then your character, and you should probably find. No, I'm gonna just find some parts of the video. Oh, let's, let's keep it at this pose right here. And this one. And now what you need to do, make sure you just stretch it out like this, so it lasts the whole thing. And then we're going to start with the one on, on the top. So make sure that you keep your layers with your text on three or above, and then two and one being the, letter, the, uh, the layers for your clips. Now we're going to begin to position these, because as you can see, we don't want it to take up the whole screen. So we're going to change the zoom, call my settings, 0 0.510. And then we're going to change the position Y to 430, right here. This will mean that it is uh, half of the entire screen, like this. Which is perfect, that's exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do, we're going to alt-drag it to duplicate it, and then place it here. And then to make it take up the whole screen again, because now he wins the point, you press this, and boom, he's there. 
Now in some cases you might want to like uh, move move the X so you can move it left and right because sometimes the character is not in the center. Alright, now we've done Dio, Dio's clips, we're going to move on to the bottom layer, which is Gojo's clips. So, we're going to find two clips of Gojo. I'm just going to use this for example. They're probably not the best clips. Put it underneath to stretch it all the way out. Okay, now the variables you want to do for this, the transform, is you're going to want to do zoom. 0 0.510 like the other one and then y negative 430 and that's going to put it on the bottom now adding all of these clips is going to be the exact same kind of process so we're going to skip over that once again it's time to move on to shapes so you're going to want to go to your effects once again if you don't have this open you can press this effects tab up here press effects and then we're going to go to your adjustment fit now you're going to bro drag it on top and make sure it's on top of all of your text layers because otherwise it takes up the text layer and gets rid of the text now cut it to make sure it lasts the length of the beat and then we're going to go into the fusion tab you can right click open fusion and right click. okay now what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice clean looking vertical shake here all right start us out we're going to go to zoom and we're going to do right click Modify with and in curves. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to modifiers, go to source, go to duration, go to curve, go to custom. We're going to start our offset at 1.3. So the offset right here is where the frame basically starts. And then we're going to change the scale to negative 0. Point, as you can see here. Now we're going to go to position Y, we're going to go to add in curves, and we're going to go to modifiers, change its duration, change it to Easy. Negative 0 0.5. So now what we're going to do is to make sure that, as you can see, part of this is like transparent, it's fading out, and if you look here, it's actually black. So it's actually nothing else. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to animation, we're going to change the motion blur to 1, and then we're going to get advanced options, change it to reflect. Now we're not done yet though, because what we're going to do now is going to make it a little bit more clean. So we're going to go to directional blur, shift plus place again if you don't know how to get to that menu. Now we're going to connect it up, make sure the symmetric blur is on, change blur angle to 90. Now we're going to go to blur strength and we're going to modify this with the atom curves. We're going to modify this, go to source, duration, curve, custom. And what we're going to do is we're going to change our offset to 1 and our scale to negative 1. So it's going to start like really, really um, blurry like this, right? But then it's going to unblur. Now, what, we're, what we can do is we can make a curve here to make it faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this up like this and move this up like this. I'm going to show you the curves again so you can remember that. Okay, now we're going to play it. As you can see, we have the directional blur there. Now, we're going to go to the last stage of this, which is going to be effects. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a simple back-to-back -back kind of effect. What you're going to want to do is make sure that there's no shakes on the four beats that you're going to use for the effect. So, these are my four beats. One, two, three, and four. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a big box and select all of them, so like this, over those four beats, and we're going to go down, select all of the clips and the text, right click, and do new compound clip. Alright, we're going to create that now. Now we're going to go into Fusion, and the first thing that you want to do to make this is we're going to go Shift Space, and we're going to do Image Plan 3D. As you can see, we're going to connect this up like this. After that, you want to merge 3D. Type that in. Then you want to render. Connect that up. Now, 
Change, I normally like to change my renderer type to hardware renderer. I don't know if that actually changes that much, but you can try it if you want to. Now, we're gonna start it up by setting the Z to negative six, right here, setting it far away from the camera. This is gonna be our first little clip here. Now we're gonna create another one, put it on top and then connect it to the Merge 3D. And we are going to change this Z offset to negative, negative three. Now we're gonna create another one. And by the way, I'm doing it by Control C, Control V, copy and paste the classic. We're gonna change the Z to zero. And then we're gonna create one more and change this Z to three. We're gonna start pretty much so close that it's pretty much in the clip. Now we're gonna go to the end of this and change up the scale so that it's right about here. And this is gonna allow us to go from here all the way to here. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to create a little bit of an animation. So, I'm gonna go and change this up. So, I'm gonna start this, change this out to about this number right here. And then we're gonna change it in to 0 0.25, change that out to 0. So now this is gonna like animate like this. Sorry, no. Change the out to 0 0.66 like that. All right. Now, we're gonna create another point on this line. You can create one by pressing it and change it into 0 0.5. Change the out 0 0.35 right here. And then you're gonna wanna press on the line again. Change that into 0 0.75 like that. And you're gonna to wanna to change it out to 0 0.66. Now what we need to do is we need to create curves for these. So all you need to do, press on these like little points here, and then you, as you can see these curves will create. So just curve them, curve them like this, as I'm doing right now. Press on here to 0 0.5, and then what's the value of this? Change the values out. Boom. Make the curves. Make the curve for this one, and then the curve. just like that. And now it's animated with a curve, so it's not linear. It's actually going to zoom in like this, with a little curve, and then come back. Come back again, and then do that. Now, we're gonna set the settings to motion blur, make sure we get that maximum good look out of it. And there you go, you are done with the effect. Thank you to all the people who listened to this video. I hope this helps some of you guys. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. Thanks for watching everybody.